With AI becoming central for digital transformation initiatives, there are more and more AI models being implemented. These models are key to uncovering insights and delivering business value. ClearScape Analytics delivers comprehensive analytics capabilities that includes model ops. With model ops, models are stored and executed in the most scalable and fastest data platform, allowing management of an unlimited number of models as well as the opportunity to handle a million partitions of model scenario. Users can also score the models on demand or on batch as we read the data in the warehouse with very low latency. Model Ops was also built to be open and compatible for management of the largest variety of models with user-defined libraries and using your organization's secure mirror of libraries. Model Ops can manage both open source as well as models developed with any of the hundreds of Vantage in database functions. Model Ops and ClearScape Analytics are included as part of Vantage 2.4, so you do not have to be dependent on other vendors and making Vantage the production platform for your models. The first step to using Model Ops is to log into Model Ops. Once you log in, you will immediately see a list of your projects. These projects can be linked to a Git repository. Each project can have multiple models. You can see here models developed using different languages. Different metadata information is also available. You can have models which are in Git, or you can also import models from universal formats such as PMML or ONNX. We call this approach, bring your own model. Here you can also find a number of active models. This dashboard view of metadata is very useful when the number of models increase, as it helps to search and govern all your models in a clear way. Now, let us focus on a demo model, which is a demo for diabetes prediction. This model has different versions. Each version ID is created when you change either the model code, the data, or parameters. For example, you improve the model by including additional features. Tracking the code versioning of the model is very important, especially for explainability and reproducibility purposes. This can help you trace back any model scoring which you might have done in the past. This is also a mandatory requirement in regulated environments. Now, let's review the models deployed in this project. From this dashboard, operation teams can have access to all models deployed in a project and see whether models are deployed in Vantage or at the edge, and who and when they were deployed. We can also review the details of every deployment, like how the model is scheduled, plus monitoring the feature drift, prediction drift, and metrics drift. Associated with deployments, we also have alerts. By default, an alert is configured on data drift. It seems we have one alert. Let's take a look. The alert panel shows there is a specific alert on a feature drift of a model deployed. Let's get into this model ID and review the model drift. My model drift view shows that there is a drift on the distribution of one feature of my model. This means there is a difference between training and production data, and that usually means that your model is underperforming. If we look at the performance drift, we can confirm that my metrics are degraded. Now my accuracy is below 11 points. It's time for the data science team to build a new model. To train a new model or model version, First, point your data set. That includes the features you want to select for training, as well as identifying the hyperparameters that you want to use. All of this code base is configurable by the user and generic to be usable with any algorithm and library. Because Model Ops is very tightly integrated with ClearScape Analytics and Vantage, you can directly access the data sets from Model Ops. This is very useful for data scientists as they do not have to separately manage all data access activities. The model will be trained and all the information related to that training will be stored. Now, we can see the model is in the first stage of its life cycle, meaning that it is trained. You can also see the details of the model training. One very interesting feature is the training artifacts, such as data profiling as well as feature importance. These artifacts are useful to better understand the model and can be used in model lifecycle stage such as model approval and model evaluation. Now we need to evaluate the model. We can evaluate it against new data. Model Ops will now evaluate the model against the data which you have specified and you will see the evaluation details. The evaluation report contains different analysis to judge the performance of your model, such as confusion matrix and other key metrics you want to record as metrics or images. You might have observed that you do not have to write any code for the evaluation. 
This helps in having a faster evaluation and deployment decision. Once we are satisfied with the model, we can compare it with other models. The good thing is that you can compare with not one, but all available models in the project. We can see for the last model we trained a very nice accuracy point of 8. We can take this model and compare it with the model which is already deployed. We can make a side-by-side -side comparison and check various things such as model accuracy and confusion matrix. The new model has a better performance. We can now mark it as a champion model. Now marked as a champion model, we can approve it for deployment. We can deploy directly in Vantage. Published models are stored in a table in Vantage. This will ensure that all data management best practices such as security or administration are also models. We can publish models and schedule scorings on regular basis or deploy them to run directly in the database on demand. The model is now deployed. This means that it is available in Vantage tables which have models that can be used in production data scorings. Because the new model replaces the previous champion model, we can now retire the previous model and have a proper governance and archiving policies. In the future, we can audit all the information of this model. Clearscape Analytics and Model Ops. You can manage your most important assets for your analytic-led digital transformation initiatives. Scale smarter. Innovate faster. Grow stronger with Clearscape Analytics.